The Atari Flashback 9 says it works with paddle games, but how well does it work? I find out, so stay tuned. The Atari Flashback 9 has a specific menu for Atari paddle games, but I ran into a few problems when I tried hooking up my old Atari paddles to this new system. I'm going to go into detail on what I found out. The instructions say that the game ports are compatible with original Atari 2600 paddle controllers. Let's see how compatible they really are. The first issue I'm having with the paddle controller is that I have to use a joystick to access the menus to get to the paddle games. So I'm going to pick Super Breakout. Doesn't work very good with a joystick. So now I'm going to plug in paddle controller. Well, I keep getting this warning popping up. So maybe I need to clean my paddle controller. Okay, I've cleaned this paddle controller and the arc length between extreme left and extreme right is very, very small. We're gonna compare the arc length on the Flashback 9 and on the original Atari. The circumference of the paddle knob is 150 millimeters. Divide that by 2 pi and you will get the radius of the knob. The circumference is 2 pi times the radius. The circumference being 150 millimeters. We can divide by 2 pi to solve for the radius and it's 23.9 millimeters. We'll use this in some future calculations. I place some yellow electrical tape around this paddle so I can accurately measure between extreme left and extreme right on this paddle controller. The arc length between extreme left and extreme right is approximately 2.5 millimeters. That's not very much. Arc length equals radius times rotation angle with an arc length of 2.5 millimeters and a radius of 23.9 millimeters, we can divide to find the rotation angle and it's 0.1046 radians. I'm then going to convert it to degrees by multiplying by 180 degrees over pi radians and it's approximately 6 degrees rotation angle between extreme left and extreme right. So now let's hook the same paddle up to an original Atari and measure the arc length and find the degree separation between extreme left and extreme right. Okay, now I have my old Atari hooked up with Super Breakout plugged in. One interesting thing is that this paddle was controller one for the Atari flashback. It's controller two for my old Atari. So looking at the screen, it's pretty snowy. Let's see if we can clear that up at all. All right, that's about as good as I'm gonna get it. So I'm marking extreme right right there. Now let's go extreme left and it's right there. Okay, let's measure this arc length. So with the original Atari, I'm getting 18 millimeters from extreme left to extreme right compared to the 2.5 millimeters I was getting with the flashback. For the Atari 2600, I had an 18 millimeter arc length and the radius is still 23.9, so I can find the rotation angle by dividing 18 by 23.9, and I get 0.7531 radians. Here's my conversion to degrees. That makes it 43 degrees approximately. This is more than seven times the rotation angle of the Flashback 9. So the Flashback 9 is way too sensitive with the original Atari paddles. So if you're a fan of Breakout, Super Breakout, Night Driver, or Warlords, you might want to steer clear of the Atari Flashback 9 
at least until they get a firmware update so that the paddles aren't so sensitive. If you've enjoyed this video or any other in the Thrifty AV series, please like and subscribe. And thank you to my patrons for supporting my channel. Stay thrifty, everyone.